Good day, good morning, good evening, good night, everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to write a transaction, or create a transaction rather, for an object oriented report developed using ABAP objects. So let's take a look. Go to SE38. I'm just going to create a program called Z underscore OOT code to demonstrate this. We'll go ahead and give it a class. Oops, class LCL keyboard is acting wonky. There we go. Class LCL report to give it a definition. We'll say methods, give it a main method End our definition, start our implementation. And then in our main method, let's just go ahead and output a message to the screen. Let's say message. Hello from ABAP objects. Type I, so it's just an information message, and that's it. So at this point, if we, uh, oh, I forgot one integral part. Let's put our public section in for our main method. Go ahead and check. Only methods can, well, that's because I didn't start my method. <laughs> method main, I have to actually implement my method here. Got a little ahead of myself. Let's pretty print it. Now we should have no problem. Check it, activate it. So this report contains no actual code in global space. It is simply a class with its definition and implementation. We'll go ahead and activate our ZOOT code uh, report. And so if we run it, we see no matter how many times we run it, nothing happens. Because we're not calling this method, it just exists in a class. So let's go open up another session. And let's go to SE93, which is our maintained transaction. Let's go ahead and create a transaction code, ZOO test. And this transaction code is going to call this main method from our report, the uh, local class. So let's go ahead and create a transaction. Let's just say test OO transaction. And then when we say start object here, you know, usually we'd pick program and den pro for a module pool program, dialog program, program and selection if it had a selection screen, or you know, these others that we sometimes use. But in this instance, we get to say method of a class, also known as an object oriented transaction. Go ahead and click continue. So in order to do a local class in a program, we have to uncheck OO transaction model. We say our class name is LCL report. The method name is main, as we see here, and it is local in our program ZOOT code. So we come here and say ZOOT code. We'll go ahead and check. I know this will be compatible on every single GUI that they can do here. Go ahead and check all those. So what this transaction is gonna do when it runs, it's gonna call, it's gonna look in the program ZOOT code it's going to look for class LCL report, which we've defined and implemented. It's going to look for method main and it's going to execute method main. So in this case, we should see the output on the screen when we run this custom transaction. Hello from ABOP objects. So let's go ahead and check our transaction. Looks good. Go ahead and test it. We'll have to save it. I'm not going to transport it anywhere. So dollar sign temp local object is going to be what we're going to choose here and we see we've tested our transaction and we get our output from our class so this is how if you write a standard report and it's got classes it's got abop objects you know um, type structure to it you say well how am i going to run it if i you know they want me to use solely everything's in a class everything's encapsulated they want me to do all the different ABOP objects things, but how do I run a dang report? Well, that's how you do it. So we define our class and we call it from an object oriented transaction. So if you have any questions, guys, feel free to leave a comment. You know, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you found this helpful, give me a like. So we'll see you in the next video.